Good luck. All right. I apologize if this display is startling to anyone. Um, so I generally open with my center file pawn. I've taken the Western piece set here and colored it a bit so I can differentiate which pawns are right side up and which pawns are upside down. Um, both National Master John Chernoff as well as myself have struggled just determining which pawns are facing which way. So I've colored the pawns so now I don't have that problem anymore. Um, so we're going to defend this left half of the board. I'm going to complete a castle on the right side. This is called Half Mino Castle. Uh, this is a precarious moment for their castle because uh, their generals are all shifting about. Um, interesting. All right, I need to give my king this escape square. Eventually, my king might need to run, as it often does. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I spent quite a bit of time putting this layout together, so... I'm glad uh, it's usable. It might not be the most beautiful thing. No, one thing I have to watch out for is that there potentially could be a, a silver fork hitting my gold here and my rook there. So I need to make sure I don't fall for something like that. But otherwise, I think I'm... Oh, wow. Really? We're going to play this way, huh? Um, so, I think how I'm supposed to approach this is now my rook is supposed to strike down this file here. Um, unless they've opened some other avenue that I could just waltz in on. I think my rook is supposed to go to the right side. Um, it's interesting. Hmm, I've not developed all my pieces yet, but I'm not sure where the rest of my pieces would go. Alright, we're going to push over here. They've opened up lots of weaknesses on the back rank, so if I manage to exchange rooks, I'm basically winning. Um... strange strategy. I guess they're banking on me not exchanging rooks. Um, is there anything I could do to make my king more safe here before I do a crazy attack? Not a whole lot. They're building a shape known as Yagra, so I could I should build the Yagura Destroyer, bring my knight and pawn out, and start attacking this structure. Um, you know, let's do it. So Yagura, I think, means castle. I could be mistaken. Often I am. There's a saying that push the odd file pawns, and it's gradually dawning on me why this is such a popular saying. It's because, like, early in the opening, you'll have lots of possibilities for how to activate all your pieces if your pawns are on odd-numbered files that have moved up. Like, your knights and bishop and all these just naturally fit together very well in the opening. Um if you have advanced these pawns, and otherwise things just don't fit. There's just this very natural flow about pushing the odd file pawns. Um, now this knight... This knight wants to advance. Um, the problem for that knight is it can only advance once and not twice. So... We're going to force this rook to babysit the knight. 
And now they draw the gold away from their castle, so the rook is not on babysitting duty anymore. Um, so that's fine. But now there's this hole in the castle. Um, and in the time it took to produce that hole, I could move my knight. I don't know if I should. I could also move the gold up. That'd be unusual. That'd be very unusual and probably bad. Um, this knight, on the other hand, well, it would be useful if, like, I could hit a bishop, but I can't. Um, I think I goofed on a move ordering something or other here, and just have a very difficult position as a result of my mistake. Um, we will play up the knight to try to save my bishop. It's complicated. Right. So now my knight protects the head of my bishop. They're going to break in on this eighth file, and I can't stop that. I'm sorry, they're going to break in here. I can stop that at the expense of sticking this pawn here, and this is uncomfortable for me, but I can stop that. Um, and what follows is that I'm going to drop the rook back and try to re uh, gain control of some file. My attack on the right side, fourth file, did not succeed, but I have split up their castle into this super strange shape. Oh yeah, Yagara I think means fortress. That's right. Um, so now I can just put the rook over on this file if I feel it's time to do so. I don't feel it's time to do so. Um, I think I need to complete my perhaps ill-advised castle shape. And so now it's completed. Okay, they're looking to expand their castle, and so am I, honestly. Um, um, yeah, this is something I was considering doing even before they did that. Um, okay, they're cornering my knight. My knight has nowhere to run. But I had intended to play this anyway. So I don't get it. Okay, they're cornering my silver now. They're forcing me to attack. And I think this is a good time for me to attack, so what's the problem? I think we have a disagreement about this position. I think we're about to resolve this disagreement somehow. Um, And that somehow appears to be with use of lots of force. So I've sacrificed a knight to shift all of my pieces toward their king at the time when it's least defended. Um, does the king need to be defended? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I get to sacrifice another knight? I guess so. Um, I don't know if I want to. Huh. 
They're trying to force my bishop to move away. And I'm trying to have none of it. Just haul, uh, bring some kind of very strong attack if I can. Um. Problem is, usually one retreating move leads to many retreating moves. Uh, so I have to be very careful uh, if I do retreat, not to give up too much. Okay, that is bizarre. I mean, we could we probably should take this pawn. That's the thorn right next to my king. Um, that'll take one tempo to take the pawn. Hmm. No, it's not worth it. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's fight. We wanted a battle. Here's the battle. Um, it might not be the best battle for the best, might not be the best terms for me to pick a battle, but um, okay, they block their bishop. I think I can accept that. Check. Yeah, they are gaining a lot of space here. I have to be careful. They also gain my bishop, but, you know, it's going to happen sooner or later. Let's not worry too much about who lost whose bishop. So we have a silver right next to their king. Um... We got a happy face on the Komodai. So this happy face lets us know that everything's A-OK. -okay. Also lets me know that I really should be using my pawns in a way that I'm just not at present. Um... All right, it's tactics time, I think. Check. Are you going to take my general? Because then I get this check. Uh, I guess we'll take this and promote. Promotion might have been riskier than not promoting in this case. Um, because guarding this square could be important. So we threaten mate in one. Um, question is, can I run away from his checks forever? I don't think so, not yet. this mm. 
We'll take this bishop and threaten a bishop fork, which wins their rook. I think they'll run away, and then it'll give us... No, nope, they're not running. All right, we'll just give the fork directly. But also, this continues to surround their king. Um... My king will just run up next to my silver, and that'll be the game. Or my king runs back into this corner, depending which way they want me to run. Yeah, each turn I have 30 seconds to think. I'm actually playing too quickly here. They've been pressuring me on the clock the entire game and are going to quickly come to the realization that they cannot beat me on time. So... Um, Alright, good game. Well played. Yeah, they like to play many uh, fast attacking style games. They're really sharp. Uh, we've had... I might be confusing them with another player, but I've seen this player play quite a few exciting games. Um, yeah, that was a really sharp game. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope that was worth your time to uh, see us play that out here. Um... Yeah, I'm not even sure, like, okay, this tactic, first of all, maybe I don't have to take the silver, maybe there's some other way out of this. This got extremely sharp, and I was in deep, deep time trouble, um, but um, I think the way it played out was fine. Even if somehow they had decided to protect against this fork, I still have lots of attacking possibilities. Uh, because their bishop is on the board and mine is not, I can drop this bishop pretty much anywhere, uh, which creates... It's just impossible for them to defend. Um, so, yeah, this... I think this was a huge blunder. Um, because... Well, first of all, there is this tactic where they just can no longer defend this gold general. Uh, and second, if they run away, um, I'm not sure how I would have resolved this, but like, I take either one of these pieces and continue attacking somehow. Um, or maybe I drop a gold here. I don't know. This is like super sharp. Um, but I, yeah, I think even in this line, like, or somehow their bishop, by some miracle, escapes from one move, it's gone the next. So, uh, yeah, their king is super exposed. They needed to add another piece to defend their king, and they just didn't take a moment to do that. So, I think they did correctly sense that this was their only opportunity to win my bishop. And truthfully, I did see this silver fork idea... I saw that silver fork all the way back here. So when I was considering, do I go back here and just give up the 5-5 five, five pawn and let them hit my king? Um, I decided, no, let's give up our bishop. And at this point, I pretty much had figured out that whenever they get a silver or some other piece, I'm probably going to lose the bishop. And that's okay, because their king's exposed. So, yeah, uh, it's an exciting game. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Uh, it possibly made some opening move ordering issue here. I'm not really confident in this. They're threatening to push here. They're, this pawn of 5-5 five is a target. There might be some tricky something or other, either on this file or maybe over here. I don't know. Openings are hard, um, but I think, yeah, by this point, we transposed 
into something more or less familiar. Uh, I was surprised by this, but anyway. Yeah, Shogi's hard. Um, feel free to check out uh, Shogi Harbor's Discord. Uh, I'll provide a link to it somehow. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for joining. And we'll see you next time.